Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight for CBS News Detroit at 11. I'm Kelly Vaughn. Happening today on Detroit's northwest side, a celebration of life for Pistons legend Earl the Twirl Curitan. CBS News Detroit's Luke Laster joins us now to share more from Curitan's loved ones and the memories they shared. A celebration of life for Earl the Twirl Curitan, loved ones, family members and more came out to share stories about Earl and the impact he made on the city of Detroit. I'm sorry that I can't be a little more uplifted and say some funny things about Earl because it's too fresh, it's too new, and it's hurt me too long. Man. So I just wish you guys all the best, and I hope you guys continue to be the best version of yourself. This is exactly what he wanted. Emotions took to the pews of St. Charles Luanga Catholic Church Saturday afternoon as eulogies, stories, and more were shared about Earl Kiriton. Whose smile and laugh fill the room and whose work and impact in our community made such tremendous difference. Kiriton was known for a lot in the city of Detroit and for his work with St. Cecilia's just across the street from St. Charles Luanga, providing access to others for the sport he loved. The packed church welcomed not only Kiriton's family, but familiar former Detroit Pistons like Rick Mahorn and Isaiah Thomas, who says Kiriton embodied what the city was all about. He taught me how to love Detroit. I mean, Earl was, he was everything that, that I think a, a mom and a dad would want a son to be from the city of Detroit, and Earl represented that. That's the only reason I knew about St. Cecilia in terms of uh, Earl. He bragged about it so much, talked about every player from every era, even the era to this day, and he always had a story about it. So I'm just so grateful that, you know, he and I had a chance to, uh, to bond with each other over the years. On Detroit's northwest side, Luke Laster, CBS News, Detroit.